Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's question is which of the following is true about cyclic amino acids? And the first variant A. Proline has an aromatic ring in its chain. Just by looking at this table you probably guess that we have 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 amino acids which we call cyclic amino acids because they have ring in it structure in our group. But proline is different from any other 20 amino acids because its R group is making a ring with amino group of the backbone. Some students confuse which of them are aromatic group and which are not. Take a look. Aromatic groups has hexagon. So for example phenylalanine and tyrosine has hexagon and Tryptophan also has hexagon and for example proline doesn't has hexagon instead it is uh, pentagon and pentagon in histidine. Those sometimes histidine can be aromatic under certain circumstances and under the different circumstances it wouldn't be aromatic. So sometimes you can find information that uh, this is aromatic also and sometimes not. Again this depends on the environment factors and whether it's going to be proteinized or not. Whether it's going to have a charge or not. So we can definitely can say that phenylalanine is going to have aromatic ring and tyrosine and tryptophan. So the answer for the first variant would be no. Proline doesn't have aromatic ring in its chain. And next statement, humans must consume proline in their diet. That's because hydroxyproline, which is used in collagen synthesis, is fabricated from proline. In green color, I want to highlight a statement which is correct. So only part of the statement is correct. It is true that hydroxyproline would be produced using a substrate proline. Uh, which is important in collagen synthesis. But humans shouldn't uh, consume proline in their diet because we can make proline ourselves. So this is not essential amino acid. Out of 20 amino acids, 10 are substantial, which we cannot synthesize and we have to consume it with uh, our food and 10 not. So proline is one of them, which are not essential. So this is also false statement. And next statement C, one of the properties of amino acid aromatic rings is ability to absorb ultraviolet light. And this is true statement. If you watch my previous video, you would know that these three amino acids with aromatic rings in it absorb ultraviolet at 280 nanometers and the other peak, which we can find in other amino acids, we can see at 220 nanometers where peptide bonds are uh, formed between amino acids. And the last statement D, phenylalanine, tryptophan and tyrosine all have non-aromatic cyclical structure. This is false. All these three amino acids has aromatic ring in its structure. So now you see the only correct answer is going to be answer C. One more time, which of the following is true about cyclic amino acids? And the only correct statement would be one of the properties of the amino acid aromatic rings is the ability to absorb ultraviolet. And this is true. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.